Looking for something fun to watch and a cool community to be a part of? The KJ Today Show has you covered. We're bringing you the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. Join us live the first Wednesday of every month at 7 for your positive vibe fix. And welcome to the show. It is KJ here with you. And this is the KJ Today Show, your positive vibe show brought to you by PopCon, bringing uh, Hollywood and all of the fun of pop culture, people to know, and pets right to you here in Indianapolis. Uh, I'm so grateful that you have decided to be here with us tonight. As a reminder, this show is as much yours as it is ours. So please make sure that you tell us where are you watching from tonight? We want you to give us that crew number. If you've got one, if you don't have a crew number, that's okay. You can get all signed up at kjcrew.com. That's crew with a K, kjcrew.com. Uh, we're going to be doing a little survey tonight. We uh, love for you to be commenting throughout the show and interacting. And if you haven't subscribed on YouTube yet, we would love for you to do that because it helps us grow our show. It costs you nothing and it's a very nice thing to do. Thank you. Uh, joining me tonight, we'll bring in uh, producer Patches first. Uh, my wonderful, well, I was going to call you my sidekick. <laughs> I mean, that's fine too. I, I have, I mean, I really am. I mean, it, it, it's, it's all listen, about you, man. babe. I'm, I'm listen, cool with it. You're my ride or die. <laughs> Let's homie. go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, this show, I need a drink after that. This part. show is made uh, right here at our house of cats. And mm -hmm. At any point, any of the seven cats may join us. That's why we do have the kitty cam going. Oh, yes. I'm surprised. This is the first time in uh, months that we haven't had one of the tuxedo twins up in the up, up by the kitty cam. Yeah. So um, what they, did you do to them? It's, a, it's none of your business. Uh, <laughs> actually, we have Mr. Giles right here and Buffy is right behind you. So. Oh. The kitties are here. They they are they are present. Oh, okay. yes, yes. Okay. So cool. I'm sure at some point now that we are talking in the room, it will be up and we'll be able to show them the kitty cam. So oh. we'll be in good shape. Okay. Well, uh, tonight I'm very excited to bring you some of the highlights from my interview with Doug Jones. He is from Indianapolis, which is so freaking cool. Uh, and, you know, he's been a gazillion things, uh, you know, my nerdy heart loves that he was the silver surfer. And I did talk to him about Buffy and look, uh, speak of the devil. As soon as I said something, check out the kitty cam because socks is about to be dethroned. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Buffy. Thanks for, oh my goodness. Thanks for joining us, mama. <laughs> Yes, we'll be talking to J uh, Doug Jones, and he revealed a really, really cool fact about that role that he played in the uh, as the gentleman in the episode of Hush in Buffy. So I'm excited to uh, share that with you. I've got uh, Lisa Meese from Starbase Indie standing by. We're going to learn more about that. Uh, but first, let's uh, uh, let's bring in the crew and let's get to the announcements. Patches. Oh my gosh! We oh my <laughs> gosh. We have announcements. Attention, Patches. Use your big, booming voice. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the KJ Today Show has announcements. <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're, you welcome. So much. You're welcome. I don't know why you don't get paid more to do those uh, <laughs> those voice things. That's because you pay me. <laughs> oh, I do. I know. Or you don't pay. Sidekicks don't get paid. Sorry. No, they do not. They really don't. <laughs> uh, I see some crew checking in. Susan is crew number 57. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, we got a big crew with us, so I want to uh, go around and make sure that you know everybody that's here tonight, along with producer Patches. We have our entertainment correspondent from Geek Vibes Nation. Tia is here with us. Let's go, Tia. Yay. 
Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> that yay <laughs> that you heard is assistant producer Michelle. Hello, hello. She is going to be uh, keeping an eye on the comments tonight and making sure that you're up to date on everything that's going on. And uh, if your comment gets on, it might be because you know you're like, oh my god, that's my comment. That's a, the magic of assistant producer Michelle. So she'll be in the background helping with that. Susan thinks it's very funny that I called you a <laughs> sidekick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you do? Uh, and also joining us tonight after last month. Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah. Sidekicks are always the first to die, right? Mm. <laughs> Do you have to get morbid? So Son of a... it, is, oh, it yeah. is seven minutes into the show, dude. Oh, here we Come go. Come on. Positive, positive. Positive vibes. Wow. The sidekick wow. is the first to die. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That's better. Well, aren't you glad that I... <laughs> it increases your odds. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know, a one in four chance. All right. I, that, that's good. That's good. May, may the odds ever be. Let's be honest. I'm 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 <laughs> hoping that Tia is the one that makes it through because she has the most offer. <laughs> well, listen, when the psychics, you know, go through their tragic arc it then bolsters <laughs> the hero to do even greater things. So the sidekick dying is very important to a hero's arc. Right, right. Well, hey, as long as I'm like Bucky and I get to fall off a train in a, you know, down a mountain, I'm that that's like a hero's death that I would love I, to have. I am bringing this back in. The speaking of trains, <laughs> uh, we are derailing. Uh, please welcome to the show after his fine performance uh, last month. The ratings were up. People want more of kind of nerdy clay. So here he is. Yay. Who am I to deny hey, everybody. Yay. Yeah. Uh, so did you come prepared with uh, an obscure quote uh, for tonight, Clay? I have, two quotes. I, have oh. I have one obscure quote. The second quote should be easier to get, but there's a connection to our guest tonight. Ooh. So, oh, okay. Okay. Right. Patrick All has right. to get us or figure out what that connection is. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. I Challenge like accepted. I like this. Challenge okay. accepted. Yeah. So we're going to have another obscure quote uh, challenge tonight. <laughs> and at the uh, at the end of our What's Poppin' segment, uh, Tia, uh, back by popular demand, <laughs> has another one of Tia's terribly terrific <laughs> AI poems, my Let's friends. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to bring it to the table. <laughs> if you missed last month's episode, it was a surprise party for Patrick's yeah. birthday and no one was uh, no one was okay. It was just like it, it was, it was, great. It was <laughs> wonderful. So definitely go back and It was but what what was the oxymoron a beautiful disaster. Yes. Yes. Yeah. As most of our shows were, but that one was like Yeah. It was it was Yeah, like, that was a chef's kiss episode, right? Right there, yeah. All right. I did want to, before we get to what's popping, I uh, wanted to uh, get a little KJ survey going because we are very uh, grateful for you. Thankful that you are here with us. And our next uh, episode will be after Thanksgiving. So I wanted to start, you know, the, the, the thankful vibes and uh, get into a little fight about the Thanksgiving feast. So our KJ survey for tonight, what is the worst food in the Thanksgiving feast? I will go to Atia Ooh. for your answer. This is this is how people get to know all of us because you know we want we want people to like us or at least hate us for a reason. So <laughs> I didn't oh, know if you God. were I didn't know if you were going to ask us or ask the audience. So I was going to yes. sneak on YouTube to like put my answer. In all right. Now <laughs> Definitely want the comments coming in, but I want to hear from you, Tia. Go, uh, go ahead. Okay, so the least, um, it the least, my least favorite, the worst food on the Thanksgiving menu every year is cranberry sauce. I don't care <laughs> if it's yeah. homemade or in a can; it's awful and belongs nowhere on my plate <laughs> ever. <laughs> I agree. I, I, say, I am Team Tia on you, that. You hate the cranberry yeah. sauce. Oh, Clay, no. Clay, did you have a different answer? No, mine a, a little nuanced. Like I, I like homemade cranberry sauce, but when when it comes out of the can, like that's just 
that's you gross. can still that's see the ridges right. from yeah. the can. Yeah, and it's, yeah, and it's <laughs> just <laughs> sitting there wiggling. Yeah. My, yeah. My and what's grandma... funny is that is actually Grandpa Patch's favorite, like one of his favorite parts of Thanksgiving. Ah. That he loves that. I don't know why. He's just freaking weird. All right. Thank you, Susan. Man. She says the worst food is the pecan pie. Uh, I mean, respectfully, I, I have to disagree with that. I love pecan pie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, yeah. I do not like pie. I'm I open love for pie. trading. Like, I'll okay. swap cranberry sauce for pecan for the pie. Pe like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can make it happen. Are we yeah. going to have a white elephant uh, Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I am, uh, I, I, you know, might have some people unfriend me today for my view on this. But I think the turkey is the worst part. <laughs> really? I, yeah. You know what? I, I, I can get behind good, that. I, I can actually get behind that. I don't care how you make the turkey. Turkey is boring, and okay. I don't want it. <laughs> I only eat, on the club sandwich. <laughs> I, I only eat some turkey out of respect for the person who spent all those hours making it. Besides right. that, the sides are the best. But like nobody okay. works that hard the rest of the year on any piece of meat. <laughs> okay. I mean, you do you do a good job with your ham. Uh, yeah, well, right. Yes. Yeah. Ham is good. Ham has flavor. Go ahead, Clay. <laughs> do you like roast chicken? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, roast I would say it's a little yeah. better than than turkey. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little, but I, I agree with that. Okay. I mean. You're not entirely wrong. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, yeah. the the centerpiece of the meal. So I'm going to make fun of you every time now. Like That's fine. <laughs> at Friendsgiving, you're like, hey. I just yeah. got out of here. At Friendsgiving, Clay's going to be like, hey, why don't, you, yeah. why don't you tell our friend Lisa how good the turkey is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's been up since so, five o'clock in the morning making it? I'm yeah. Like, and you're going to bring a can of cranberry sauce just to. <laughs> Throw back at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you guys uh, so much. Uh, you can keep those comments coming if you just hopped in. It's uh, it's the worst part of the Thanksgiving feast. We are thankful for you. And we are thankful that our friend Tia is back with us as Geek Vibes Nation presents What's P -p 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 Popping in Pop Culture. Pa -pow, pa -pow, pa -pow. Powered. My conquest journals. Pow. Pow. Yes. Pow. Pow. <laughs> Is it done? <laughs> Is it done? <laughs> oh, I forgot you had that new button. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the oh. it's the cheers button. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yes, I may have some PTSD from last wild. episode. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, so Geek Vibes Nation, uh, if you go to geekvibesnation.com, you can always get what's popping. They're always up to date on all the pop culture, cool stuff that's going on. We got three top stories. Uh, what do we got, Tia? What's popping? Okay, so for some reason, I wanted to talk about some uh, box office numbers, and the two films that I decided to focus on was Venom, The Last Dance, which practically just came out, like, what, a week or two ago, has done um, $319 million in the box office. The movie cost $120 million to make, so it's already made its money back. I have not seen it yet, but I liked the first two Venom movies. You very did? Similar. I did. I did. And I, yeah. you, okay, we'll talk about it in a second. Um, <laughs> well, really quick with that. I, <laughs> I, I, I went, I went into the first movie with incredibly low expectations, like mm -hmm. the lowest of the low, like I'm just seeing this because Tom Hardy's in it and nothing mm -hmm. else. And then I walked out and I was like, this is actually entertaining and it's super short. So it's not like you have to commit to a whole, like, a lot of movie right so the right. second so the second movie i like too so i'm excited for the last dance it's made its money and everything as opposed to transformers one which is the first time an animated transformers movie has been in the movie theater since the original came out in the 80s yeah. um i tried to look it up it says that the film costs somewhere between 75 million and 147 million dollars to Ooh. make and it's 
And it's ended its box office run with $127 million. Nice. So depending on which number is right, either made money or lost money. I just saw this movie the other day, and it's so good. Stop is making really? stop making live action Transformers movies and just concentrate on animated because well, that was so worth it. I wish I could w- watch it again. Don't be part of the problem is that we got tired of being like, okay, well, this Transformers movie has got to be good, right? Like, okay, now, okay, that one was bad, but maybe this one is good. <laughs> like, okay, okay, now, now that one was that one was bad too, but we'll try this one. <laughs> like, right. I, I'm a huge Transformers fan, and I go through like Renaissance is of going back and rewatching the movies as well as several of the cartoon TV shows. Last summer, I did a complete rewatch of all of the live action movies. And literally, I can confidently say this. The only good live action movie was Bumblebee. Stop making the live action movies. Just concentrate (laughs) on the animated. I didn't mind the first one. I mean, I think we were getting to go. Go rewatch it. And really? <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. okay, because I felt yeah. the same way. I felt the same way. I was like, Well, the first one, you know, you got to give props to the first one, it's the first one to put Transformers in a live action. Then I rewatched and I was like, Never No, mind. yeah, so I, I did the same thing like last week. I went back and watched the original, and I was more nostalgic for the toys that I bought my kids. Like seeing the transformer, like, oh yeah, I remember that toy. Um, yeah. Yep. But yeah, to to Tia's point, like the Sam Witwicky, it's like, man, I don't remember him being this annoying. So <laughs> yeah. annoying on rewatch. It's so annoying. Yeah. You think it gets wor- you think it gets worse as the movies goes on, and it does, but it's not yeah. like it started well anyway. So no, right. not good. But, but yeah. tra- Bumblebee but tra- was yeah. Bumblebee but, was great. Transformers yeah. 1 was great. But okay. at the end of the day, yeah. Bumblebee, it doesn't matter if it's the animated series, live action. Bumblebee is the glue that holds Transformers together in whatever incarnation that they have produced. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know. I know. You have a crush on Bumblebee. I've always had a crush on Bumblebee, <laughs> even when oh! he was a Volkswagen Beetle. I Patches, mean, come on, man. You have to see Transformers 1 if you have not, right? Because Bumblebee is hilarious. In I it. love it. That's perfect. Love All it. right. I'm in. I am completely in. All right, Tia. What else is popping? Um, so the second story that I want to do was Gen V uh, just wrapped its filming on season two. I don't have a whole lot more to say about Gen V, but because it's an offshoot of the boys, season one was very popular. And then obviously the unfortunate passing of Chance Perdomo, who is one of the main character, one was one of the main actors in Gen V. um, They had said previously that they were not going to replace this character. So it will be interesting to see what they do in season two because the character was such a big part of season ones. Um, But obviously Gen V season two, they had said previously takes place after season four of the boys. Um, So I listen, I liked season one. I didn't think it was the best, but it was a nice um, thing to watch while you waited for season four of the boys to come out i'm I wondering just thinking we should we should watch that patches i yeah it takes place <laughs> it Dude, takes we, place we are in looking this, for things to watch <laughs> definitely watch it it takes place in you know in the boys universe it gives a lot more lore to everything that's going on um yeah. and and it's nice that it's not high school it's college because if this was like high school i would have been like I'm too old to watch a show, even <laughs> even something like Gen V. I don't want to yeah. be watching Euphoria. You guys, let's right, watch with Zombie High then. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, what else is popping to you? So the next one is Squid Game Season 2. Just came out with a trailer, and it comes out December 26th. We see the main character, which you can see right there, coming back to the whole game of Squid Game and everything. I don't know if you guys watched the first season when it came out. I really enjoyed it. I think I watched it three times in in its entirety. I wasn't too sure that I actually needed a season two, so I'll be very interested to see what they do. But 
it's coming out on Netflix uh, December 26. So if you have not yet seen the trailer to season two, little plug, you could either find it on YouTube or go to Geek Vibes Nation uh, Twitter page X and you can see it. <laughs> did you watch uh, uh, Squid Game, Clay? I did. I liked it. I thought did you? It was really good. Yeah. I, I started the first episode and I was like, no. <laughs> it's it's I didn't intense. Even, I didn't yeah. even like attempt to watch it. It's, it's not for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I cannot do this. <laughs> All I know is uh, Popcon one year did a variation of that for their secret games. We, yeah, we still we still do the Popcon secret games has become uh, uh, quite a thing. So if you do yeah. like Squid Game, I mean, it's it's like it, but not like you're gonna die. <laughs> okay, well, you're, you're gonna get a, a lifetime pass to Popcon. <laughs> it's so much better yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> as opposed to the alternative i mean yeah. I, I have a quick question for clay yeah. so since he saw season one and if you can yeah. remember what game is the game that you would go out on oh gosh oh. um yeah, I, honestly i'd probably go out on the cookie like until yeah. they figured out how to how to do that i think that would have been my that would have been my doing. Yeah, I'm yeah, probably gonna you? die. I'm probably gonna die on a cookie too. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going out. I'm going out on a cookie. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, that on yeah. my gravestone. Yeah. Going out on a cookie. <laughs> Listen, yeah, she went out on a cookie. <laughs> she couldn't, have been, couldn't have been happier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody is surprised. Like, yeah, cookie got him finally. <laughs> How about you, Tia? What would what would you go out on? Probably the first one. I don't have good yeah. like balance. So as soon as uh, it's like stop, I would have been like <laughs> wobbling. And oh, yeah, yeah, probably the first one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Tia. Uh, did you have one more thing and what's popping? And then we've got your poem, right? Um, uh, I don't think I had another what's popping. Um Oh, we I, were just gonna uh uh chit chat yeah, uh, about it, Agatha all along. Yeah, it, did everybody it, did everybody get through it all? Oh yes, we caught up. Are we okay. Not not Clay. Clay have you even Clay. started it? Clay, get out of here! You just lost your job. <laughs> all right, no, I was watching Squid Games. <laughs> <laughs> Eating a cookie or something? Yeah, or whatever yeah, they know. do. Yeah. As I do, it's Tuesday. Yeah. I um, I was, I'm so sad that. You know, of course, this would happen that Marvel would make this decision of like, we're not, you know, we're not messing around with this TV stuff. It has not been successful for us. We're, we're, we're not doing it. And then Agatha all along comes out and we're like, no, that was how you were supposed to do it. Yep. <laughs> that was how you do it. That's how you make a TV 100%. show. Uh, I really did. I thought, it, I mean, everything about it, even we, we didn't realize when the, uh, second to the last episode ended we thought it was the finale and even that i we were okay with yeah 100 percent. we're like oh wait we get another one this is awesome uh that was what we wanted in the beginning and i think we did you know with wandavision we did so i would say like i mean they kind of bow tied it because wandavision was fantastic and we watched every episode i mean yep. remember we were like yeah tuning in and oh yeah 100 percent. yeah watching every single week i mean we had we i mean we had the marvel cinematic review on geek vibes nation yes, every we single did. week that yeah. tia and i were a part of yep. our, yeah our our french our friendship was forged from uh, yes it was <laughs> as a matter of fact yes That's it was right. we're like who's this awesome dragon from new <laughs> well, jersey <laughs> and, and now that agatha all along is over we just put a bow tie on it Thank you, Tia. It's been yeah, that's the end of our friendship. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Poetic. So this has been the latest episode of the KJ Today Show. <laughs> All, right. And, no. <laughs> All right, Tia, let's hear your your poem. So yes. uh, we uh, for Patch's birthday, we all got silly <laughs> and I it actually started with Which I had text. no freaking idea. It Thank you. Surprise you were party. very surprised. Clay was like, I can be there. I was like, perfect. Make sure you write a poem. He was like, okay, a hike. Yeah. I'm in. And he was like, <laughs> okay, I'll write a haiku. So then I told Tia, like, hey, Clay's coming. He is writing a haiku. If you decide you want to write a poem. <laughs> and then we just had No poems. pressure. That was right. Great. So, uh, uh, so here, uh, uh, a, a new segment on the show for the second time, ladies and gentlemen. 
Welcome to Tia's Terribly Terrific AI Poem. Yay. Okay. Yay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crowd loves it. They love it. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Yes. Go ahead. Uh, br- br- brought to you by Chat GPT. Um, yeah. <laughs> the election wrapped up just last night as we watched the votes and waited tight. In pop news, Gen V rap season two, more chaos to come, fresh shocks to view. Keanu <laughs> as Shadow, he did the research right to voice that hedgehog with brooding might. And Agatha's finale, what a blast with magic and mayhem unsurpassed for zelda fans there's a hint to glean a movie could come by 2030 scene with worlds and heroes all anew the future is bright for fans like you wow. <laughs> wow. well done way to go chat GPT. yeah i mean no that tia had to put the she had to put the work <laughs> the, into the prompt chat yeah, GPT. yeah. <laughs> to tell prime that, baby she primed yeah. that yeah she did <laughs> Prime that chat. Prime or whatever the hell. That was terrible. Good, yeah. yep. Prime that chat. chat. You did Prime, you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we're living. All right. That's it. So, oh, uh, my God. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got uh, highlights from my interview with Doug Jones. We're going to bring our friend Lisa in from Starbase Indy. We're going to get so nerdy. If you love Star Trek, this is your time. Hang on just a second because you know We got to take a break to thank our sponsors and keep us going. Why, thank you, AJ, because what's popping in pop culture is powered by Conquest Journals. Make the holidays magical this year with gifts from Conquest Journals. Shop officially licensed fan art for Harry Potter. (laughs) Supernatural. (laughs) Shit Creek and more. And for the planner on your list, don't wait to get the official 2025 Harry Potter planner. It is, guys, seriously, it is super close to selling out. So go to conquestjournals.com and use the code KJ today to save 10% off your entire order. Go to conquestjournals.com for the very limited 2025 planner all right so uh i've got uh, starting off here you know it's pretty cool i did not know for the longest time that doug jones was from indianapolis no you didn't like he's from he he went to ball state like yeah yeah i mean who didn't go to ball state yeah so uh, i mean I, I did not go. I went. I, 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 oh, trust me. I, I have. Trust me. I have a degree from Papa Lou's Chug at Ball State. I guarantee it. I, I guarantee did, it. I did not ask Don yeah. Jones about the Chug. <laughs> I, oh my God! I you should have. Oh my God! No. How dare you? Right, I'm sorry. What? What? Is, wait. For the listeners and the people not from Indianapolis, uh, elaborate. <laughs> uh, Papa Lou's Chug is, well, that was, it's called the Chug now, but the original, it is a, uh, well, I'm trying dive to bar. use my, like, yeah, it's a dive bar. Thank you. I was yeah, going to use uh, expletives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you literally walk down like a half flight of stairs into the bottom of this building. My brother-in-law actually used to live in the apartments above it, but it's just like really? this weird. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it makes more sense now. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this play knows my that, brother-in-law. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's just like this, it's like a tiled parquet floor, just glue matted from all the, you know, like cheap ass beer. Gross. It's, it's, it's nasty as hell. Yeah. But it it is in a very dollar, charming way. It very much dollar pictures, dollar pitchers, so, yeah. dollar pitcher yeah. nights. Yeah, like, back in the day, yeah. we used to get dollar pitchers right. of Miller Red. This Reds. show is not brought to you by the show. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It sure, yeah. sure yeah. as Maybe it should though. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you happen to be a, a, a owner of the chug and you liked this glowing endorsement we just gave your bar, please reach yeah. out. KJ at kjmediaco.com. Thank you. <laughs> they're sitting there. They're like, this is free advertisement. I know, they're right? salivating <laughs> yeah. in Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> so uh, the, 
the my full interview with Doug is 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 going to hit YouTube tomorrow night. Uh, but and we talked about everything. We talked about uh, it, it, he was so good at like covering all of his career. So if there's something you love about Doug, you know uh, what we do in the shadows to Silver Surfer, yep. he talked about oh, it all. God, he's so uh, good in that. <laughs> but I did want to because I had uh, one because like I love Buffy, and I did have a listener that said you need to talk to him about Buffy. So we're going to start with because this was pretty amazing. If you saw. Doug Jones, as uh, he he was the head of the gentleman in the Buffy the Vampire, one of the Slayer. creepiest shows ever made on television. It was the episode called Hush, and it actually <sighs> it's the only one that Literally got that. nominated for it, it was nominated for an Emmy, and this was when <laughs> sci fi stuff was not nominated for anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm just, I can't. Yeah, get the goosebumps. Off yeah, so it's pretty it's cool so that creepy. everything Doug Jones did. Listen to what he has to say about playing this character. I'm sitting here with a, a a Buffy and Giles Funko Pop in view, and I have cats named Buffy and Giles. So, oh please, can, oh, so you're... <laughs> uh, super fan here, Doug. And that episode I, was terrifying. <laughs> oh, bless your soul. Thank you for that. Well, uh, we we um. Uh, but, uh, being being the leader of the gentleman was a guest star one off that that I did uh, in season four of the show, and I never knew that that was going to become like a fan favorite episode and that it would live on this many years later. So I filmed that in 1999, so it's been 25 years, and uh, and it's still every bit uh, the the Buffy fans have are, are loyal to this day. So playing that that silent character who tore people's hearts out was. I only creeped myself out twice watching my my performance back. That was one of them. The other one wow. was uh, the pale the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth, uh, where I got, where I watched what I did, going, "Oh, good heavens! <laughs> what was I channeling? <laughs> good heavens!" Right. I I love that of all of the creepy, like crazy things that that he has done. <laughs> that he was like, that actually creeped me out too. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty that, awesome. made, that made me feel a little bit better. And uh, he did tell me uh, later in the episode, we talked about the Funko Pops because he is like he holds a record for most Funko Pops. Yeah, Susan oh, is chiming amazing. in. That episode was amazing. Like he has the most Funko Pops of any actor because he's been so many cool things. And there's actually a new uh, Funko Pop of the gentleman that is coming out. So they're still making wow. Buffy stuff. Yeah. And in particular, because of that episode, they're making more gentlemen. Seriously, you got to quit talking about I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> I, I'm, and seriously. not in a good way. No. Uh, so most of the episode, <laughs> just to like give you guys like why we, we like this episode is so has we have PTSD about it. Most the these uh, gentlemen that come, they steal they steal the voices of a town so that they can rip out. They need so many hearts so that they can rip out hearts and no one can scream about it. So they take their voices. So it's that super dark. It's so oh, it's like, super <laughs> awkward. It really, it's ah, so yeah. most of the episode is silent because they yeah. can, ah. nobody can speak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're just, I mean, they have music and stuff like the background music, but like no sure. one audibly speaks. Yeah. It was, okay. Yeah. Nope. That was I'll, really amazing. I'll seek it out. Yeah. I haven't seen it. That's yeah. Crazy. yeah. Oh, you don't even actually have to be a Buffy fan. Just watch Hush. Yeah. And you'll okay. be like, what? Be like, you won't yeah. be like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. No, <laughs> you will not. You will not. Now, and it's her college years, so you can watch it, Tia. It's not the high school years. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if it makes sense, but it's like, okay, can I, like, for a quick second, right? You know, when you four... <laughs> You know when Euphoria first came out a couple of years ago and everyone's like, this show is so crazy. You have to watch it. It's so crazy. And I watched it and I'm like, it's supposed to take place in high school. And like, I don't know. I went to Catholic high school, so nothing was really happening that crazy. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> And I feel yeah. weird as an adult. Like, I know all the actors are adults, but they're doing things and they're portraying <laughs> teenagers. It made me feel very uncomfy. So, okay, that's yep. my thing. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to your it. old lady life, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. like, oh, these two, ca these two characters got together. And I'm like, I don't want to watch this. I feel yeah. wrong right. watching this. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> All right. So before we get to the next clip of Doug Jones, I need to bring in our very special guest uh, because she asked the next question. So 
joining us in the local spotlight tonight from Starbase <laughs> Indy. I am so excited to have Lisa Mies here with us. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to get into uh, Starbase Indy and mm -hmm. how people can go and why it's so cool and all of that. Uh, but I uh, wanted to play for you because you, I always appreciate when people give me these questions because sometimes I'm sitting there with an actor that maybe I don't know so well, or I know them really well. So I'm like, uh, uh, uh. and your <laughs> questions are always better than mine. So <laughs> people are like, you're a really good interviewer. I'm like, thanks. I have other people give me questions. <laughs> so uh, this was... Uh, other than asking him if he would just come to Starbase Indy. Uh, <laughs> here is Lisa's question and Doug Jones. Answer. Lisa Meese here. She's part of Starbase Indy, which is next month. It's a fabulous celebration of, of Star Trek. And she actually wanted to ask about your character. And she said the way he moves, his arms is subtle, but definitely alien. Can you talk about that process for her? Um, well, every character I've played over the 38 years I've been an actor, um, I want them all to be different from each other. I came to, to doing Saru for Star Trek Discovery. Uh, this, is, this is the last alien I've played in a long list of aliens. And I'm like, what, like, what can I do with him? Those boots went on me, those hoof boots that made my, my, my feet kind mm -hmm. of in a high heel position without a heel behind it. That kind of threw my, my balance off. So I had to put my pelvis a bit forward to line it up over the ball of the foot instead of the heel. So that changed my whole posture. I, I kind of walked like a supermodel, and then all of a sudden my, I had room behind me since my, my, since my hips were forward to move my hands swaying side to side instead of back and forth within the, th the first 60 seconds of wearing those boots. So it's like, wow, thank you, wardrobe <laughs> department, for helping me get, find this, this guy's his stance and his move. There you go, awesome. Lisa. Doug Jones, talk to you. <laughs> uh, are you are you happy with his answer? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Are you always going to think about that character now and his pelvis moving forward? <laughs> I mean, it does change a little bit the way that, that you see it, right? <laughs> All right, so you are. I was a huge Star Trek fan to be a, a, a part of Starbase Indy, but you've been a part of Starbase Indy for a really long time. And, uh, you know, since we started talking about it last month, I, you know, had people, you know, asking like, what, what is this? And is it for the hardcore Star Trek fan? Or, you know, if I, I just like the movies, can I go? So I, there's, I, there's a lot of people that, would like to know where they fit in. And I think when we're talking about, you know, going to a new event, they kind of want to know that they're going to belong there. And mm -hmm. I don't want to answer for you, but uh, Starbase Indy sounds like a place that, you know, our kind of nerdy network belongs, right? Absolutely. So it is. it certainly started life as a Star Trek convention back in 1988. So mm -hmm. we've been around for a long time, but about half a dozen years ago, we became a 501c3. Because with all the great events in Indianapolis, who can bring in the Doug Jones and the William Shatners and the, the really big names, we're a small fan run event. We don't have any paid staff. It's all volunteers. Oh, Tim and Courtney. Yes, they were in our silent auction. Um, <laughs> and Bernie hey, and focus, Lisa. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. But all, so the thing is, a lot of the folks who come call it our geek family Thanksgiving tradition. And... Folks looking for that chosen family, looking for fans, looking for people who are interested and curious about how the world works. We do a lot of science. We do a lot of conversations like this year we've got a series on exploring new worlds through. So we're going to talk about how you explore it through language, through food, through faith, through artificial intelligence. We did a series on AI last year. Ideas like, you know, um, the the idea of truth and AI. And so we get to talk to po folks who are really into the fandom stuff, but also folks who are really into how it interacts with our actual world, right? Geeks and fans are people who have fun thinking about how the world might be if it were different, whether that's because we have space travel or because there are witches next door or, you know, whatever. And so that sort of, open-mindedness, curiosity, passion, you know, positive vibes. 
we're all about that. Woo! Positive vibes. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's that connection, right? Star Trek is one of the very, very few pop culture canons that depicts a hopeful future. I love that. Yes. Right? There, yeah. I love watching a lot of these sci-fi universes and reading about them. There aren't a whole lot of them I want to go live in. You don't really want to be in Squid Game? I, mean, <laughs> I didn't make it past the third episode, so <laughs> you, you don't want to you don't want to go live with, in in the boys' universe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. If I have no choice. I would like to be beamed up to the Enterprise, please. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> me too. So, what is your um? What was your uh, gateway to Star Trek, or what would you call your Star Trek? Or do you have one? So I watched Next Gen when I was in college because I yeah. um, it was first <laughs> run then. And so I watched all of that. I've watched kind of all the premieres except the original series. Um, and then I love some of the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Strange New Worlds is so beautifully done. It's so good. Yes, it's, it's so, so good. good. Yes. And, you know, we're talking about Buffy. Strange New Worlds pulled off a musical episode. They, they did. And I was it. like, yeah. no, you guys are not. There's no way. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, because I mean, it's become a thing to do that since, you know, is it really since Buffy did it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is not going to fit in here. This is not going to work. And it was so much fun. Like the writing on that show mm -hmm. and the way that they have it, that cast that they have created that you can tell just all has so much great chemistry. It's yeah. just, if, it's delightful. And I, 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 you know, if you have not been a part of Star Trek for a while, it's a really nice uh, reintroduction to it. I or think. ever. You don't yeah. have to know anything about the canon to start with Strange New Worlds. That and, exactly was going to be my question leading into it. Yeah. No, you don't have to know any of it. And the nice thing about it is it's episodic. So if, right, like any show, if you know the characters, there's another layer to it. But mm -hmm. this one's really designed so that you can hop in at any point yeah. and get most of what's going on. Um, but also, did you guys catch all of the Buffy references in the musical episode? Oh, I don't know if I caught them all, but I did. I I, I was catching some of it, which I thought was cool, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Playing, paying homage to television history. That's pretty cool. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So what do we have um, planned this year? I know it is. So it's the the weekend of Thanksgiving. So it starts on yep. on Friday, right? What are, uh, is it is it cosplay and panels? And uh, mm -hmm. is there some cool shopping? Because I always love the shopping. <laughs> yes, all of the above. Um, so our sort of celebrity guest this year, uh, Laura Banks, who was the navigator in Wrath of Khan. She's also a comedian. She's got five books out. So oh, this wow. is one of the things that happens. We get guests who have, you know, they might not be the name your non-geeky neighbor recognizes, but they've had fascinating careers and they can talk about a big variety of stuff. We've got um, Starship Edsel, which is an improv troupe out of Chicago. Oh, it is an ongoing series. They're going to come and, and shoot an episode on our bridge again this year. Oh, and your bridge is so cool. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and we've got uh, Multiverse has ta Multiverse Got Talent, which is a, a stand-up comedy troupe. So they're coming and doing a performance. Uh, there were pictures there of uh, Bonnie Gordon, who is the redhead, mm -hmm. who is the voice of the proto star. And if y'all, if anyone who has kids, uh, Star Trek Prodigy is on Netflix, and it's really beautifully done. It's a lot of oh. they sneak in a bunch of science and that kind of thing. Not what, like uh, what age group is that for? It's um, not tiny little ones, but okay. grade school, I would think. Yeah, the main okay. characters okay. are teenagers, maybe. Oh, not for Tia. Then. Between Tia doesn't want to watch anything yeah, with be teenagers. <laughs> between <laughs> baby <laughs> Einstein and Zombie High, or what are I we mean, talking here? They're purple teenagers yeah. and teenagers made out of rock, so it might not be exactly the same, but um, you know, everyone's got their own their own thing to be geeky about. But it's not <laughs> angsty or anything, no. or okay. No. See, that's great. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. No, well, no angsty, none of that. 
cool thing this year is that uh, I have some tickets for our kind of nerdy crew. So yes. I want to make sure you guys uh, get signed up. Uh, you mm -hmm. can just go, just go to kjontheair.com to get yourself signed up because this is going to be really fun and it's a it's a great opportunity and if you want to just get your tickets uh, you know like lisa said they are a nonprofit, so it is a cool thing to get tickets to and be a part of but if you're like you know what i would like to try this out it sounds uh like fun this year we want to uh get the kind of nerdy network to go to starbase indie so you can go get signed up for those tickets uh, Lisa, before I let you go, I, we play this game on the show. It's called uh, Don't Screw the Crew. No. <laughs> and, I thought we were done with that. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Patches. Ah! You got a break on your birthday. It was my birthday gift to you. I didn't get to you. My name's KJ. That's exactly how I sound. It is. Uh, it is not. And it is Star Trek <laughs> trivia. So I thought we patches. Could you're embarrassing KJ in front of Lisa. Hold yourself <laughs> together. We have a guest. <laughs> Thank you, Tia. Thank you. Yes, come on. Sorry. Guys. We have a guest. Guys, it's not about me. Jeez, that was last episode. I, yeah. Get your sidekick right. in line. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Again, oh God! I'm All gonna right. take that button away from you. All right. So it is. I'm keeping Lisa around to help you guys. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Star Trek right. trivia. Okay. So uh, here we go, guys. Say it with me. Yeah. It's time Don't. for Don't, Don't Screw the Crew. The Crew. The Crew. It's great. It's every time. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, meet crew number 41, Lisa, who is, as you can hey, see, Lisa. a cat mom. Not not this Lisa, not our special guest Lisa. <laughs> no, different Lisa. Yes. Uh, There's lots of us. Yes. So we are uh, playing to win Lisa the all new, almost sold out 2025 Back to Hogwarts planner from mm -hmm. Conquest Journals. Look how cool that is and magical and amazing. And along with that, uh, they're waiting for the night collection. So cool. We've got the coloring book. I still haven't colored in my coloring book. Uh, we're we, we're going to color. Look at the kitty cat. Uh, the waiting for the night book journal, which is incredible and a great gift for any book lover that you need. And the steno pad I'm obsessed with. Like, it's all I write on anymore because, of course, like <laughs> cats, right? Cats. <laughs> so all of this can be crew number 41 Lisa's if we don't screw, screw the, the, crew. Crew. the crew. All right. We got three questions here. We need to get two out of the three right. We are going to start with Tia. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. Can I tell you um uh, can we can we just I'm, I'm I'm just going to bring Kitty Cam in just because <laughs> Buffy oh, has never Buffy. is never really front facing oh. just because she's just too precious. All right. So just saying. <laughs> All right. Tia, if you need a a, a lifeline, Lisa yeah. is here for you. Okay? okay. All right. My my my, uh, my knowledge of Star Trek is limited. Okay. So. Ooh, ooh. All right. True or false, Tia? Uh -huh. okay. The original Star Trek series only ran for three years. Yes. True. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. You got it. See, you didn't even. You didn't even need Lisa. Well, that's yes. because I tried to watch it on Netflix years ago, and you then did? I like, I didn't get through it. But I love Next Gen. I love Next Gen. Okay. okay. Yeah. You love Next Fair Gen. Enough. Check out Picard season three because it's a love oh. letter to next gen fans. You don't have to Wasn't watch it? one and two. It's so good. It's I, so good. I, I cried and got goosebumps so many times. I was yeah. like, it really was like it was just for us. It was just for us. <laughs> it's really it's the first time they brought the the folks who put next gen together back into the new trek. Like Doug Drexler designed that enterprise. The guy who built the Batleth that Worf carried in the 80s, they brought him back to do the one he carries in. 
So that kind of, that's why it felt so good to people who'd, who'd grown up on Next Gen. That's amazing. I love that. Uh, and another uh, fun fact was that they actually, the original Star Trek was, uh, was almost canceled. It was one of the first yes. fan campaigns that actually saved a show. Yep. Uh, yes, and was. that was before any social media. Like, I don't even know what they did. Did they send yeah. postcards? Yeah. One of the fans who was instrumental in that, Bijou Trimble, really recently. Wow. Um, letters and yeah, it's it's kind of an amazing story. And you know, they didn't want to put it on the air in the first place. Lucille Ball put her foot down and said, "You will air this," and she had the power to do it. That's <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Okay, so we got That's one cool. right already. So this All is right. great. All right. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to go to the guys. Yeah. All right. All right. Clay and Patches. What do the labels reading GNDN on the Enterprise stand for? GNDN. GNDN. If you've been paying attention, when we toured, and he, because he's got like a whole, the whole setup. Oh, he has a whole bridge. He's got a whole built bridge. in his basement yes oh and my he god. actually told you this <laughs> oh god um <laughs> you too clay you too i no? yeah. i oh right. god how quickly can we phone a friend all right, <laughs> all right. i know it's in nc in cc 1701 let's go to our let's go to our lifeline go ahead all right Lee, I, I yeah can i hit a bell and hit a lifeline yeah go ahead here you go yeah you know yeah. i'm not hitting that damn thing <laughs> okay. you can hit the nope not today all right. Yeah. There, you there you go. There we go. Go ahead, Lisa. Uh, goes nowhere, does nothing. Yay! Uh, okay, thank really? you. <laughs> That's also, hilarious. If you ever have a chance to, like, you can stop and zoom in sometimes, all of those L cars, those graphics that are on the panels and stuff, they will have things like the name of the crew member or, like, those all actually say something because the folks who were designing it, the Akutas and, and Doug Drexler, we're having fun with it. Ah, That's awesome. I love it. I, I just, I, it, it's so, the more that, <laughs> I think the more that you learn about Star Trek, the more that you realize, like, there's so much love behind the scenes, yes. right? There's, yeah. yeah. There's so much to it that it's hard to not find a way to be a part of it somehow. Like, you want to, you want to. R right, Clay? Right. I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm <deep -rooted. laughs> I feel like you're like mocking me, like yeah, uh, whatever, yeah, gay, no. gay. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining my business card with Clay Swain, G N D N. Totally do that because yeah. nobody, like, because don't you feel yeah. stupid? Like you never question the initials after no. somebody. Yeah, name, right. right. Like, oh wow, like was it? Oh, did you do that? No, not at all. Like, yeah. Wow, that easy. guy. Barely an inconvenience. Like, yeah. Lot of degrees, yeah. Very yeah, that guy has some serious stroke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was two out of three. The final question uh, is just for fun. Uh, buzz in when you know. In the 2009 Star Trek movie starring Chris Pine, what actor played Captain Kirk's father? Oh, Tia oh, knows. Uh, Tia, Tia, of course Tia knows. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. That is Word. Wait, okay. So so on top of watching Next Gen. Yes. <laughs> on top of watching Next Gen and watching like a few episodes of the original, I've seen the one with Tom Hardy in it, because does Tom Hardy? I had to <laughs> obligatory. But the whole reason why I even became interested in Star Trek was the Chris Pine 2009 Star Trek movie, that really? one, and the next one with Benedict Cumberbatch. I was like, I can get into this. Humperdinck oh, yeah. Bumble Snatch. Yes, oh, yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> Do not say that guy's name on the show, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're new. You haven't learned. Cucumber yet. Pumpkins Patch. Yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, we're uh, going to do our best to represent this uh, year, the kind of nerdy network coming to Starbucks. And you're, you're coming. You're speaking on Friday, right? Science I'm so excited. I am. I'm, I have to figure out what I'm doing. Like, I'm not a scientist at all, but I agreed to talk about the science of cats. So I mean, I, I'm just going to bring all my cool stuff, like my laser and my CC loop, like basically all the weird stuff 
I was say I was gonna swear all the weird stuff that I do. <laughs> weird <like that>. stuff. <laughs> I am. I'm very scientifically advanced when it comes to my cats. Okay. <laughs> Nowhere else but my cats, they get the best science has to offer. Okay. Well, the gadgets are going to look all futuristic, so it'll fit right in. There we go. There you go. Yes. yes. Where Where do you guys host Starbase, Cindy? Uh, the Indianapolis Marriott East, 21st and okay. Shadeland. Okay. And we take over all of the conference space pretty much because we do have the shopping and the panels. We have uh, virtual reality gaming. We're going to have some magic tournaments. We're going to have okay. just a wide variety of stuff. Our uh, program guide is out on our website in draft version because I'm not quite done with it yet. But what's the website again? Stuff. What? What is the website again? Uh, Starbaseindy.org. Excellent. Starbaseindy.org. All right, Lisa, we will be seeing you soon. Thank you All so right. much for joining We're us. On the Starbase. All right. Reminder, again, you can go for free. Uh, make sure that you get signed up because I will have to, uh, you know, cut that off at some point so I can get a list of winners over to Lisa. Starbase Indy, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got a couple of things before we close out. We have a, 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 a one more segment that we're going to do before we get to the pet of the week. And the, the pet of the week is special this week. It's actually... Um, all of the cats from the Smitten Kitten Cat Cafe and a little recap of our Taylor Swift cat parties that we had over the weekend. <laughs> so before we get to that, uh, I didn't have time to make a graphic. And, you know, I mean, we'll just try it and see how Clay does, see if we like this. Let's see uh, how he does. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a drum roll, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Clay's collection of obscure quotes. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, yay! There we go. I mean, <laughs> wait, what am I supposed All to right. say? All right. All right. Good so, enough. Clay, uh, it, this is because whenever we're together, Clay and Patches do these <laughs> obscure quotes, and they <laughs> always do. look at Clay's wife, and we're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the look is like, yeah. Y'all are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yep. All right. All right. So take it away, Clay. Y'all are idiots. Go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> the first the first quote that I have is yeah. leaning on the obscure. So Patrick, I have no uh expectation that you're gonna get this one. But <laughs> okay. uh yeah, setting you up right here for success, for failure. my man. Okay. All right. Uh so the quote is I'm a mere fawn, but I have so many names. Names that only the wind and the trees can pronounce. Uh, is that uh, from Narnia? No, uh, but not, not a bad guess. Uh, in honor of Doug, uh, it's from Pan's Labyrinth. So, oh, oh never yeah. saw it. There you go. Yeah. That's why. That, that's the obscure movie that I knew that you okay. had never seen. Okay. So. All right. Hang, hang on. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fun. I like that. All right. All right. So this quote, I know you know, uh, but the trick is I want you to tell me how it correlates with Mr. Jones. Okay. Like what's okay. the connection? All right. Okay. So the quote is, how many times do we get a pass before we shoot? Four. Here how you go. Many? There it is. How Four. many? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, he is, he is the, confused. So <laughs> that that is a that is a quote from Gene Hackman in the award-winning movie Hoosiers, the basketball movie. Yes, about Indiana. The, yep. About Indiana. Yeah, look about, at Tia. She is like, yep. no, about Hickory. <laughs> don't know that. Yep. Yeah. How many times we? How many times we? How many times? Yeah. Four. Four. How, how many, many times? Four. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let so me, my kids. If anybody yeah. says four, like you say, so, how many? And they four. They shout yeah. Out, even so someone says the word four. Yeah. You like, have it, to it, say it like that. Yeah. Well, like someone yeah. in our little village that we've created here, all we have to <laughs> yeah. do is be like, how many? And they go four. Four. I'm telling yeah. you, yeah, they, like, they go to school and the teacher asks a question that the answer is four. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, they're like four. 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 <laughs> 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 we have ruined these kids. Yep. Yeah. No, we call that good influence, is what we call that, guys. <laughs> and, and so, so how does it connect to Doug Jones, though? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Doug Jones was a star, a very young Doug Jones, in in said movie. Was he really? Oh. I don't think he, he was, was actually on camera. No, he was. I don't know. I'm okay. just making shit up. Okay. <laughs> right. you, you, said said so confident. you said it so confidently. I, I was like, wait. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That, I'll give even, you props. Even but, Clay had to sit there and be like, wait, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> IMDb. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> what's the movie called? Hoosiers? Ah, what is Doug there Jones? you go. He, he's from. Oh, yep. Know, yep. Yep. All right. Oh. Well done. Very well nice. done, yeah. Very yep, nice. yep, yep, yep. Right, That's right. my bad. All right. uh, you know, it's been a stressful couple days, Clay. Shut up. Please. I get it. Sidekick. <laughs> I don't know. What's been going on? Uh, if you have uh, any feedback on tonight, if you like uh, these new segments, Tia's uh, terribly terrific AI poems, or yes. uh, Clay's collection of obscure, obscure, obscure? obscure, obscure clothes. Oh, how many takes was that? Four. See? <laughs> <laughs> Clay's collection of... Yep. Now I don't, now I don't even get through it. <laughs> Whatever. Clay's weird quotes. There we go. Shorten it down. Oh. Clay's weird quotes. Nailed okay. it. All right, all right. AJ, you're just Place inviting weird. the yeah. shenanigans every month. Yeah. Yes, you all are. Right. All right. Please yeah. uh, let us know if you want that. Uh, before we leave, uh, this is a little uh, look back on this past weekend. The cats of the smitten kitten cat cat. Anyway, here's the video. <laughs> We are at the Smitten Kitten Cat Cafe. Woo woo! Getting ready for our didn't get tickets to Taylor Swift cat party. <laughs> uh, we're doing a kitty cat. I don't know why I'm surprised there's a kitty cat. We're all here to celebrate two things we love cats and Taylor Swift. Let's do this. For the record, what is your name? Liana. That is a beautiful name, Liana. And you are here uh, celebrating Taylor Swift, right? Yes. And uh, what would you say your favorite animal is? Cats. Now, what do you think Taylor Swift would think if she knew we were having a cat party in her honor? Um, she would say, oh, oh my gosh. I, I really love that you're having a cat party. Um, may I join in? And then we would all say yes. All right, back to bracelet making. Let's go. Here we go. Are you so ready for this Taylor Swift cat party? So I said, well, yeah, I'm the cat part of the party, so let's get it on. So we got Ruby here with me, and there's a cat named Ruby here, so we're about to do an introduction. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Oh, very good. Do you, uh, do you have cats? No. <laughs> I have a dog, though. Oh, you do? Yeah, but my mom acts like she's allergic to cats, so... <laughs> uh, we are having a, a, a party at the Smitten Kitten Cat Cafe celebrating cats, celebrating Taylor Swift, and celebrating your birthday! How? Uh, who do you think is going to win the, the trivia today? Julie. Julie? <laughs> Well, hello, little Swifty. What you got? You got a little. You got a little toy. You want to play with? Can we make for? Oh, there we go. As you can tell, we had a fabulous time. Thanks to everybody, every Swifty who joined us at the Smitten Kitten Cat Cafe. I feel like there's more cat parties in our future. And to keep up with those cat parties, join KJ's Cat Club. It's a free group on Facebook, and that way you won't miss out next time we decide to have a fun cat party. Just go to KJ'sCatClub.com. Down to this sick beach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was horrible. My, my favorite was the little girl who was like, I have a dog. My mom acts yeah. like she's allergic to yeah. <laughs> You threw her mom under the bus. Straight oh, called oh, her out. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, Michelle's cat is in the picture. There. Oh. Look at the baby. So I think we may uh, try to have another party like that on Taylor Swift's birthday. I don't have it confirmed yet, so please stand by. Uh, and speaking of birthdays, uh, we cannot wrap up the show without 
saying congratulations to oh, Gamer Katie. Look at these new pictures. I am so excited. I get to go meet the baby tomorrow. What? Yay! Aww. Oh, there's little Murphy. There's no Murphy. Fair. Murphy the puppy. Aww. Yes, yes. So uh Katie is beautiful. Doing great. Aren't those great pictures, you guys? Yeah. Already so like good. a superstar. I know. Right? Yeah, so uh, Katie, I promised her that I would give credit to her photographer, Lane Lewis Photography, with those beautiful pictures. Uh, and there will be pictures tomorrow. And uh, Murphy is doing great with her. She said, like, he literally doesn't want to leave little Charlotte's Aww. side. Yeah. Charlotte Aww. Olivia. Murphy's yes. a good, he's yes. a good furry brother. Yes. So we're very excited to have our uh, first official uh, next generation baby <laughs> kind of nerdy girl, Charlotte. Yay. Yes, yes. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, Michelle, for all your hard work behind the scenes, keeping everything rolling over there. Uh, <laughs> yep. thank, you. thank you very much. Look at uh, Louis. Louis, like, Louis yep. like, oh, it's my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I, I had to go open the door because I had it shut and I heard him trying oh. to open. <laughs> so I had to go open it. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, when I uh, get things going here with turning the cat conversation into a, a, a TV show, that the first episode is going to have the story of Louie and his siblings. Louis siblings and how they. So I need oh, to get I with can't you. wait. I know, so I need to get with you because I want to do wow. a follow up story because that was what? Was that three years ago? Or two years ago. Four in January. Be four, yeah. four, oh wow. my God. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the blizzard. They were. Yeah. V Valentine's Day is when you guys that was when we rescued out. Yeah. But they estimated that it was January 13th was their birthday. Aww. So, Yay. Yeah. Yay. So yeah, I hadn't even told you that yet, but that'll be oh. in the <laughs> that'll be, that'll be your last episode. I'm gonna need to interview you so we can tell everybody that that's kind of the point of what I want to do with that show is you know, we see a lot of times we see these cats and we want to share in our news feed and we're like oh my gosh this poor you know senior cat lost his his human and we share it and then they're like he got adopted but like where like what happened like we get invested in what what happened right. so I'm gonna... update on mom from mm. uh, the foster mom she's oh yeah her at popcorn indy or the last time i saw her mm -hmm. and yeah, sure. Her mom and that her mom, their mom is doing really good. So. Oh, good. That's great. Good. Oh, I That's can't awesome. Wait. I can't wait. You know, I love to tell a good cat story. So, <laughs> yes, more cat do. stories yes, coming you do. soon. Yes, you do. Uh, all right, that's all we got for uh, tonight. So, I'm I'm gathering up. If if you've been around a while, you know that in December we try to just uh, give away as many gifts as we can, fun prizes and tickets to all the cool holiday stuff that's happening. So I am, uh, I am I'm collecting all of these fabulous experiences for us to have some sort of blowout in December. So I will let you know when we're going to do that. Um, thank you, Clay. Thank you, Tia. Reminder, keep up with everything that's happening in pop culture at geekvibesnation.com. And keep up with me on your favorite social media platform by going to kjonsocial.com. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. You put the gun down to this.